This old footage is a perfect example of what happens when a cop abuses judo. I guess this is anti-sport technique day, and it's going to look like I'm picking on judo, but I'm not, because it's not the only style that's guilty of this. But this is a case where a cop definitely is misusing judo, and it makes me wonder about teaching judo sport techniques to law enforcement, because you have to, you should modify it for them, tell them what could happen. But then again, this police officer could have been trained properly and he just chose to, to act wrong, basically. Take a look at what he did to somebody that already had their hands up. Here it comes. Shout out to uh, Mark Mac Young. I saw this video link from his page on Facebook. Um, according to the article associated with the video, the uh, the man got a either 1.3 or 1.5 million dollar lawsuit, and the video cleared him of the charges of assaulting a police officer. So, any police officers who happen to watch this, who happen to also be martial arts students. Please remember that there are techniques that you can use to subdue people, and then there are techniques that are used to harm. And you really shouldn't be slamming people when they've already given up and you've got two other cops there. I've said before, change the arc. Don't change it so that their feet will come up off the ground. Do a throw where you keep their feet on the ground, and instead of just letting the force take them down, you disrupt their balance quick and guide them to the ground. So it's more of a shock than a boom impact, okay? Now, as for what throw, um, this was also on uh, Mark Mac Young's page. Um, myself and another one of the people that read the page, we really couldn't decide what throw it was. So here's what we wrote. Okay, he says, I would just like to say that someone needs to work on their Osoto guard. But I disagree. I wrote, I'd say it was more of a Harai Goshi or even a Harai Gake due to Uke's position and Tori's bent leg. Because in case you don't know, when you're doing those sort of guard, when you're throwing Uke, Uke should land on their back. If you're doing Harai Goshi, basically, let's pretend this is the face of the people. Okay. This person is doing Osoto Gari. If I'm going to come up behind him and throw him, we should be both facing each other, and then he lands on his back. For Haraya Goshi, I turn this way, then I reach out and throw him. You know what? Let me get a couple of graphics from the Judo Information site so you can see the difference. Okay, you see right there how when he's tripping the guy, the guy lands on his back, either on his side. They start off both facing each other. That right there. See how they both start off facing each other? That's Osoto Gari, and it translates to, in English, to large outer reap or large outer reaping. Oh, you can't get the whole thing in here. Let me shrink up the screen. There we go. See? Osoto Gari, large outer reap. Now, you see on this one right here, right? Let me, uh, this one. You see on this one, no, that way. Right here, you see how he starts off in front of them? They're facing each other, yes, but then he tries to throw the guy so that the guy has to go over his leg and comes in front of him. That's, um, that's a ride Goshi sweeping hip throw. But, you know, then again, when I look at it, now that I'm looking at it and I think about the video, he came and he got the, if you're doing Harai Goshi, you should go for the leg furthest away. So maybe he was trying to do the throw that's called Uchimata. Let me see if I can find out. Really, this leg coming up and catching 
You can't see the whole video here, but you see how the leg is coming. See how the leg is coming up like that? It's the same leg on the same side right here. That's the classical. So maybe the cop was trying to do this. The variation is if Uki were taking a big step. A little far away to do the classical. What you do is spin. Lots of kazushi. Leg. Oh, so he did Uchimata, so we both so wrong. We draw. So it looks like we both were wrong. That's large in a reef. Okay? So it looks like we were both wrong. Dude was trying to do Uchimata on a civilian and not Harai Goshi and not, not um, Osoda Guard. So either way, the cop was wrong. We're trying to use sport judo to just apprehend somebody who had already given up. Now, if you took out a knife or something like that, then I say, hey, slam away. But that man had already given up. Plus, he had two other people there to help him. I'm sorry, officer. You were wrong in this one. Peace.